All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So in case you guys missed it early this morning, I think it was about five or six hours ago, the official JP Dokkan Twitter page dropped this preview video for some of the events and characters and banners that we can see for part two of the eighth anniversary celebration. So uh, yeah, in this video, I'm gonna quickly break down the most important things that were revealed in this preview and quickly give you guys my thoughts about them as well. Okay, so with that said, let's jump right into it. So it says Dokkan News and we have our host whose name I can't recall at the moment. I apologize, but this man right here and uh, he basically starts by saying that the second part of the 8th anniversary is still going to be continuing the spirit bomb theme that we saw in part 1, so that's interesting. And uh, from there he reveals a new event which um, I forgot exactly what it's called, but basically the theme of this event is uh, Dokkan OSTs or openings to Dragon Ball shows, right? And we'll be able to listen to various openings from GT, from Dragon Ball Z, from Dragon Ball uh, through this event. And they'll also be acquirable, if that's a word. They can be obtained. These OSTs can be obtained through an upcoming burst mode as well, right? So uh, that's really awesome. Of course, we all love the openings for the various Dragon Ball shows. So that's really cool. And uh, from there, we have this other new event, which I think is for increasing link levels. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about it, but I believe, I believe it's a link level event. And uh, yeah, he talks about that for a bit. And now we get into the meat of the video, the most, uh, I guess, I guess hype part of the video, which uh, are the upcoming part two LRs. And before we actually go into it, before we go over to the slide, where he reveals the units. Um, I think the general consensus was that we were gonna get the villains for like the counterparts basically to the part one LRs, right? So it would be like a Kid Buu and an Omega Shenron, right? That would, that would've made a lot of sense given the part one LRs, but no, we are not getting that, at least not right now. We are gonna be getting a new carnival LR Kid Gohan and LR Goku and the Kid Gohan. So these units apparently are also based around this theme of, uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, openings, right? Openings. So this Kid Gohan, his animation will be based around the uh, Dragon Ball Z opening, right? And then the Goku, will be based around the Dragon Ball Kai opening. So, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Uh, I'm not really sure how to feel about it right now because obviously we haven't seen the animations. I don't really know how it's gonna turn out, but I do have some pretty high hopes because, you know, generally speaking, when it comes to anniversary units, they do a very good job with uh, the animations and they do a good job of like, even if we weren't hyped about them at first, at, you know, when they were revealed, they end up somehow getting us to, you know, enjoy the or like the units, right? So I'm not gonna judge it too much right now. I'm just gonna be optimistic or cautiously optimistic and hope for the best. And uh, as far as the characters go, I mean, look, I mean, we only see the SSR arts right now of the Kid Gohan and the Goku. We don't really know what they could become in their LR forms, right? So uh, before you, you know, judge too harshly, just Keep that in mind, right? There's still definitely um, a lot of reveals or surprises that could come from these units. But basically right now what we know is two carnival banners, basically like a dual carnival fest, if you will. It might be the first time we've ever had two carnival banners at once. I think it is actually, I think it is. So yeah, we have the Gohan, we have the Goku. And then uh, as far as the featured units go, uh, we got some good ones, right? On the Gohan side, we have the giant ape Vegeta, who's really good still. Uh, we have the golden Frieza. We have the carnival uh, metal cooler and also 
uh, I think the Fizz, yeah, LR, Piccolo, and Goku. And then on the Goku side, we have Goku himself, we have the Bird Coup, LR Bird Coup, who's still fantastic. We have Merge Amasu, uh, LR Kaoken Goku, and then the LR uh, Gohan and Goku as well, which makes sense. So those are the two Carnival banners, which we can expect to see. Um, and then from there, we also have... Uh, oh, oh yeah, here we go. Some more exciting news. Extreme Z Awakenings for LR, Spirit Bomb Absorb Goku, and also the STR, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaken Goku, who, um, well, both these guys actually really need the Extreme Z Awakenings, and I am super, super excited for both of these EZAs. And uh, these guys, of course, are following that Spirit Bomb trend. If you guys were wondering, like, yo, I don't really feel like this is, you know, on the on the Spirit Bomb theme, these guys definitely are. These guys definitely are because they both have Spirit Bombs in their animations, right? So, um, well, at least this guy with his uh, active skill has that Spirit Bomb. So, um, yeah, excited to see how these guys turn out. I think uh, they're both gonna be monsters for sure. I mean, I am a little bit hesitant now to like expect too much from EZAs just because of how LR Godku turned out. I mean, I was so, so hyped for him, man. I was so excited and he just kind of became meh, you know, like it's just, it was whatever. So um, that was a little upsetting, but uh, I think for the anniversary, they will definitely go all out with the EZAs. So yeah, uh, SBA Goku, SSBKK Goku, Got some big hopes, or big uh, expectations. High hopes, there you go. Got some high hopes for these guys. So uh, yeah, if you guys have any like uh, ideas or any, um, you know, concepts for these EZAs right now, or you wanna make one real quick, leave it in the comments. Definitely, you know, let us know. And uh, yeah, I'll fill you guys in once we get the details for both the LRs as well as the Extreme Z Awakenings. But some pretty exciting stuff, guys, uh, revealed for part two. Obviously, this is this is not all of it. There's definitely going to be a lot more things. But uh, as far as this video is concerned, that's what we learned. So there you have it. Thank you to our host. Big shout out. And thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hope you guys are hyped for part two coming soon, starting on, I think, the 14th. Uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, as far as the banner goes, um, the or, or the two banners, I guess, the Carnival banners, uh, those should be dropping about a week after part two starts. So if it is the 14th, then we would see um, the LR banners on like the 20th, 21st, something like that. But once again, I'm not 100% sure about the timeline. That's just what I'm uh, assuming right now. So uh, yeah, there you go. That is the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.